guys, this is Svetlana from Come With Cosplay and today I want to show you how to become a Dremel Master. As you know, plenty of my costumes and props are made out of EVA foam and it's an amazing material. For example, I made my Eraser Girl costume or my Star Wars blaster or also my uh, Anthem helmet completely out of this material. And one of my most trustiest tools is actually my Dremel and I'm using it for all kinds of things. And so I also got like plenty of questions from you how to handle it properly or like even what kind of Dremel I'm using. So today I wanted to answer all of your questions. First, no sanding paper is not a replacement for a proper Dremel. I mean, yes, it might be possible that you have years of time and plenty of patience and really, really want to do something by hand, but especially sanding soft and squishy foam with sanding paper takes like forever. So please get a Dremel. It does need to be like a Dremel brand quality. You can also get a standard rotary tool and it costs like 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon. And then you're good to go, especially since you really, really need this tool if you want to work with EVA foam. So what do I use? I'm actually working with a Dremel 4000 and it includes also a Dremel snake. Uh, this thing is also called flexible shaft attachment and I got this lovely baby here from Benny a few years ago. It's a Christmas present and yeah well usually you would hold your Dremel like that and this thing is really heavy and hard to keep in your hand so instead the Dremel shaft allows me to hold it like a pen which allows me to work much more precise and um, yeah it's also much better for your wrist so even if I'm sanding for hours it doesn't hurt that much so that's really nice. I prefer to work with really fast Dremels so this one has actually 35,000 rounds per minute and I'm always working with it on the maximum speed. Um, this means it gets rid of plenty material in a really short time but I also need to be really careful not to mess anything up. As you can see, I have plenty of different Dremel tips. You can spot them quite often in my crafting videos. My favorite sanding tool, however, is this rubber drum with a replaceable sanding tip. I mostly use 120 grit and also have plenty of spares for any occasion. You know, I'm prepared. In addition, when you're sanding EVA foam, you get plenty of foam dust particles flying around just everywhere and they are not really good for your lungs. So to protect yourself, I highly recommend at least to use these really cheap foam dust masks. Um, but after some time, the stuff even gets inside that. So to protect yourself better and properly, you can also use like these nice and really tight uh, respiratory masks which I got from the hardware store, by the way. And also to keep your eyes nice and safe and free from dust, get some eye protection. Really good stuff. Yeah, safety is important. And last but not least, to stop the foam dust getting everywhere, like on your friends and family members and your cats and dogs and just everywhere, you can also use your vacuum hose and work directly over that so like most of the dust gets here inside and is not outside and yeah also Benny 3D printed like this little grid for me uh, so my foam pieces don't disappear they're inside as well so uh, you can also use some simple mesh fabric and then you're good to go and now enough of preparation let's finally sand something First, beveled edges. I always mark the area I want to sand down. On the side you can see the angle I will create later. To speed up the process a bit, I cut most of the material away with a sharp box cutter. Next, I turn on my Dremel and set it to maximum speed. Keep in mind, the faster the Dremel spins, the more material you'll carve away. I'm doing fast and steady moves in the same direction my tip is rotating in. To avoid tearing up the edge, I just turn my piece around and keep on sanding from the other side. By doing so, I'm slowly smoothing out the rough cuts I made before. 
As you can see, I always sand in one direction. The result is a nice and smooth beveled edge. Well, and this is what happens when I'm going too slow. Or if I sand in the opposite direction. Don't do this, you'll get a really bumpy and ugly mess. Another challenge is sanding raised ornaments. I already cut it out super rough, but I'll clean this up later. Again, I'm using my box cutter first, but be super careful here, don't cut yourself. If you're scared to do this, you can also just start sanding directly. Even though it looks dangerous, I never cut myself. I also have plenty of practice though. Now to the sanding. As you can see, I'm moving in the direction of the rotation again. Then I constantly turn my foam piece around to reach everything properly. The line in the middle is just a guideline. Finally, I cut away all the excess and foam lint and the ornament is done as well. Don't forget to heat seal the surface to get rid of any remaining dust. You might still have some scratches at the end, but once you prime your piece, they won't be visible anymore. Next, corners. They are quite tricky. I marked the edge and also the middle line, as you can see. While still going with the spinning direction, I constantly try to sand a little bit deeper and then slowly work my way into the narrowest part of my angle. It's not easy to reach everything and to sand it nice and smooth, so just take your time. I'm sure you'll get used to it quickly. For more information, check out my foam armor book. Here I show you how to build impressive costume pieces out of simple EVA foam. Or my advanced prop book, where I'm showing you how to create cool textures or awesome props like guns and rifles. Buy my books! Oh, and by the way, I'm also using the Dremel to gently shorten the claws of my corgis. They get plenty of treats to hold still here. Zelda is such a good girl. And that's how I stand with my Dremel. Aside of that, you can also use your Dremel to apply really cool textures as I show you in my Nergigante dual blade video or create cool fake rivets as I show you in my Anthem hammerhead rifle video. Check them out! There's a million of different Dremel tips and every single one gives you a new application for your Dremel. You don't need to stick only with sanding, so keep your eyes open and try out something new, especially since working with your Dremel is super fun. In addition, keep in mind that sanding is not easy and it sometimes takes time and practice, but just keep on trying and you will get better. However, I really hope that this video was helpful and inspiring and that I was able to answer some of your questions. And if you still have any of them left, write me in the comments down below. And yeah, uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, support us on Patreon and see you soon. Bye bye!